Survivor's ready. Go! Beauties and brawn and brains. Internet, my name is Pridium, and following up from my top 10 greatest individual challenge comebacks in Survivor, Let's now talk about the greatest tribal challenge comebacks. All of these comebacks were from tribes in the pre-merge before the game became individual. And before I get to number five, I wanna say two things. First, again, if you didn't already know, I have got a clip channel where I'm uploading all of my edited clips from these videos each week. Think of it like an archive. And second, I've got a couple honorable mentions on this list. The first honorable mention is from season 28, Kageon, and it is the infamous Shit for Brains tribe, who managed to come from behind in episode two and win immunity after losing the first two immunity challenges of the season. Now, this was a pretty miraculous comeback given the brains were 0 2 to start the season and they were behind in this third challenge as well, but somehow they managed to catch up to the beauty tribe and eventually surpass them at the table maze. It's one of the most memorable comebacks in Survivor, and I want to say this comeback was made possible because of all the practice they did with the bucket throwing before the challenge, but uh, something tells me that's just not the case. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yes. Brain Tribe is yet to win. Once again, absolutely no water in the bucket from Jatia to Cass on that. Brain Tribe is back in this. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Do it again, do it again, do it. Working together well for the first time in this challenge. Brain Tribe very close now. The second honorable mention is from season 23 South Pacific in episode 2 when the red Savai tribe managed to overtake the blue Opolu tribe. This challenge involved half the tribe running around a pole with a ribbon to release a key, which then allowed the other half of the tribe to solve a massive block puzzle. The four stronger guys on Savai were held back by the ribbon folk at the start of the challenge. It put them a fair bit behind Opolu, but Jim managed to solve the puzzle so quickly. It's like he knew the answer with a single glance, which is actually what happened. Jim revealed after the season that when the producers did a challenge walkthrough with the tribes, which is a usual thing they do for each challenge, Jim looked at the puzzle and immediately figured out the exact sequence needed to solve it. Consider it a challenge hack or whatever you want to call it. When he got to the puzzle, he made no mistakes doing what needed to be done, coming from behind to win the challenge. The third and final honorable mention goes to the premiere episode challenge of season 40, Winners at War, when the Blue Sele tribe was behind in a water-based obstacle course course had to pull their players over a hoisted rolling pin, all while against players like Yule and Tony on the Red Tribe. Sele fell pretty far behind, but after Adam solves the combination lock, despite getting unlucky with that too, Jeremy absolutely beasts the ring toss and bam! Gonna be Ben and Jeremy tossing the rings for Sele and they've got some work to do. Jeremy sticks the first and we are tied just like that, 1-1. One, one. Jeremy does it! Sully has her second ring! You got this, Jeremy. Jeremy, for the win! And he's got it! Sully wins immunity! But those are just honorable mentions. So let's talk about number five. The fifth greatest tribal challenge comeback is from episode three of season 24, One World, when the Blue Solana tribe, the women's tribe, managed to beat the Orange Monono tribe, or the men tribe, despite the men having a fairly significant lead. Which is the story of the pre-merge of this season. The men's tribe took a lead and then proceeded to blow it catastrophically. This was a blindfold challenge where three pairs of tribe mates were tethered together and led by a caller through an obstacle course with five stations. The blindfolded pairs had to pull a lever releasing puzzle pieces. It's kind of dangerous to be honest, what if they smashed into your head? Hopefully that never happens in a future season. Once all five stations are brought back to the tribe's mat, the caller puts together a 10 piece tree puzzle, which is one of the trickier puzzles in all of Survivor. I've actually tried this puzzle myself and yeah, it's a bit deceptive. This challenge boils down to mostly being Bill versus Sabrina, and the men's tribe manages to outpace the women, Bill manages to get three pieces by the time Sabrina starts on her puzzle, but Bill struggles and Sabrina ties it up at six pieces each. They then trade pieces going nine and nine. Oh my god, it's coming down to the wire. A nail biter photo finish where Sabrina manages to slot in the final tenth piece, winning immunity for the women's tribe. Guys! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Turn to your right! 
Christina and Monica looking for a world. Kim and Chelsea just took a big hit. Reach around! Reach forward! Reach forward! Reach up! Reach around! Keep reaching! Monica, Christina looking for some help and not getting it. The men have the fifth and final bag. They've just got to get back to the course and Bill can start working on the puzzle. Women still struggling, looking for their fourth and fifth bags. Bill starting to work on this puzzle. He's got a lot of time and doesn't need to panic. Women could have a shot if they could get these pieces. The women have their fifth and final bag. They need to get those pieces and get back here. Women still have to get back and then have to figure out how this puzzle works. Huge advantage for the men, time-wise. Women have been to Tribal Council every single week. They do not want to go again. Bill with another piece. Men with a big lead right now. Women are starting to gain. Nope, nope. Bill starting to sweat a little bit. Had a big lead now. It has evaporated. We are dead even. This is it. The women have made a huge comeback. It's a showdown right now. One piece left. The women win immunity with a huge comeback. The fourth greatest comeback is going to Kageon, season 28. And yeah, if the Brains Tribe getting an honorable mention makes this video, then of course the Brains blowing a lead has to make it as well. In the premiere episode, we see a challenge where the players swim to a cage, climb over it, and unlock the door from inside. They then drag four fishing traps with puzzle pieces back to the shore and use those pieces to solve an eight-piece fish puzzle. Right away, the Brains fall behind when Jatia proves to be a slow swimmer, but on the flip side, what once Shatia reaches the cage, the Brains are the first tribe to get out of their cage and back to the shore with their fishing traps way ahead of the other two tribes. Wait a minute, the Brains have a lead? What is going on? Low-key, Garrett was a beast here. By the time the Brains are on their beach, Beauty is still stuck in their cage. And then everything falls apart. Jatia attempts the puzzle while the Brawn tribe shows up behind them. She gets one piece in, meanwhile Sarah manages to get all eight, while Jatia remains stuck with just one. Oh boy. And then LJ on the Beauty Tribe finally arrives after being way behind and solves all eight pieces while Jatia ends with just two. It is a massive choke at the very end after having a huge lead, and as I've said before, one tribe's comeback is another tribe's blown lead. Rain Tribe still waiting on Jatia. Rain was the last tribe out, but they had picked up some time. Brains continue to work well together in the water. The beauty tribe has not made any progress. Right. That's the trick. There is no trick. Guys, we actually have a lead. Come on, come on, come on. Not get something. A huge time advantage for the brain tribe. Jatia still looking for that first piece. Big advantage right now for Brains and Brawn because Beauty is still in the water. Beauty tribe still working to get these puzzle pieces back. Keep digging, you are still in this. Brawn tribe wins immunity and reward. We're looking for one more tribe. You are still both in this. Jatia's had a lot of time in this puzzle, has only one piece to show for it. You would think this is where the Brain Tribe would do well. LJ has two pieces left. Jatia only has two pieces completed. Beauty wins immunity and reward. They are safe from Tribal Council. Beauty Tribe, I don't know how you pulled it out, but you did. Number three is old school. We're going way back to season four, Marquesas. In episode six, when Maramu came from behind to beat the Rotu Tribe, on a technicality. In a way, Rotube kind of cheated and in the heat of the moment convinced Jeff that they were the winners. Jeff actually declared them the winners of the challenge, but it turned out they messed up at the very end and didn't do everything necessary to win, giving the win to Maramu. This challenge was a relay race. One player for each tribe runs through the jungle and unties a paddle, then tags a second member, and then they both get to a second paddle. Then they smash coconuts to find a key, pass the paddles and the key to two other tribe members who take a canoe to grab a flag in the water. You then paddle back to the shore with the flag and place the flag on the tiki to win. However, 
It's also said by Jeff in the rules that when you beach your canoe back on the shore, it has to be within close proximity to your chain, the chain you use to unlock your canoe to take it out in the first place. Out of the gate, Boston Rob goes beast mode for row two and it's not even close. Pascal stood no chance. Zoe and Rob quickly outpace Pascal and Nalia. They pass their paddles in the key to John and the general who have a very sizable lead over Kathy and Gina. The problem is that John and the general have no coordination. They don't know how to work together to paddle this canoe in the direction they want. Kathy and Gina, who were way behind, managed to not only catch up to row two, but pass them at the flag. They race back to shore and both hit the beach at a similar time, but row two forgets about the rule with the canoe being close to the chain. And likewise, the general doesn't end the challenge at the tiki with John, which was also required. You needed to have your canoe by the chain and both of your tri-members needed to be at the tiki. Kathy and Gina, however, did both of those things. They were paying attention, fulfilling the challenge requirements, and honestly, I'm glad they did. They deserved it after coming back from way behind. check something. Rotu's boat is not okay. I spoke too soon. I'm sorry, Rotu. You do not win. Madu Amu wins. Feast. The second greatest tribal comeback is one of my favorites, and it's the most recent comeback on this list. It is from episode four of season 40, Winners at War, and they're back, baby, from the honorable mentions to number two. It's when the Blues sell a tribe, and in particular, Adam and Rob and Michelle beast the challenge halfway in and at the end with the puzzle to come from behind over the Red Decal tribe. I know some people were expecting this one, and yeah. Here it is. This challenge had four players pulling a boat in the water. Three players are in that boat. The three players in the boat then have to jump and grab three keys, which are used to unlock puzzle pieces. So Sally decides to put their lightest players in the boat, that being Denise, Parvati, and Adam. The problem is that Denise and Parvati really can't jump. They just, they don't got those springy shoes power up. Adam, meanwhile, manages to get two of the three keys in his first two attempts, but then fails three straight jumps at the third key. And while I think some people might give Adam a tough time for missing this key, I still give him credit for trying at all. He doesn't quit, and it is that tenacity that keeps Sele from losing. Meanwhile, Dekal is doing their best on the puzzle, and damn, Sele is so far behind. This feels like forever. I can only imagine how long it took out there. But Adam gets the third key, Rob and Michelle take on the puzzle, and given that Rob and Michelle are two of the best puzzle solvers out there, they make their magic happen, and the rest is history. Oh. Denise misses now, it's Harvardy going for it. Harvardy going up, can she get it done? Harvardy just misses. And he's got it! And a big fall by Adam, but it doesn't matter, he got what he needed! Nick has the third and final key! Adam trying to keep Sele in it. He's got it! Harvey going for that third and final key for Sele. They're still in this. Harvey jumps, she misses. Adam has got to find something else in that tank and leap a little higher. Yeah. Focus. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! And he misses again. Get it. Disaster for Sele. Absolute disaster. Everybody out here knows what it takes to win this game, and it's moments like this when you cannot give up on yourself. We need you, we need you, we need you. We got it. We got it! 
and continue to fight. It would be a huge comeback for Sele right now. Sele quickly catching up. Look at this. All of a sudden, we have a challenge. It is now Sele in the lead of this challenge. Sele is inching closer and closer to pulling off one of the biggest comebacks in the history of this game. Oh my God! Last but not least, I mean, technically they weren't last for a long time. An incredibly long time. Like, an unbelievably long time. How did they win this challenge? This comeback is from episode 5 of season 38, Edge of Extinction. It's the lean, mean, fighting machine. It's the green, Lesu tribe. Kelly, Lauren, Wardog, and David. What could go wrong? So the players have to unhook two buoy puzzle pieces underwater, then take the pieces to a platform where they have to solve a four-piece pyramid puzzle. That's it. Just a four-piece puzzle. How is a comeback even possible with this challenge? Well, the blue Manu tribe get to an early lead and unhook both pieces. The yellow Kama tribe have a bit more difficulty, but get the pieces as well. And both tribes are well, well ahead of Lesu working on the puzzle. Lesu, meanwhile, fails miserably. They look miserable. Wentworth, Lauren, and Wardog all struggle to get the first piece, but eventually they do. David then tries to get the second one and fails, so Lauren tags him out and goes and manages to finally get that second piece. Make no mistake, this was a collaborative effort. Everyone on Lesu fails in some way. This is a group disaster. But what isn't talked about yet is that the other two tribes, Manu and Kama, are failing even harder at the four-piece puzzle, giving ample time for Lesu to get back into it. They get to the platform, start working on their puzzle, at which point Kama then finishes the puzzle and then even has the audacity to try and help the Blue Mana tribe to prevent the Lesu tribe from staging a comeback. As if the Lesus weren't already self-sabotaging, they now have another tribe trying to stop them from getting a single win. But they wouldn't be number one for nothing. Lesu finds the solution just in time, just before Manu can figure it out. Oh my word, what an insane comeback. Survivors ready. Go! Okay, we're still struggling, gonna give up. Bless you and dead last once again. They are empty handed. Both other tribes have both puzzle pieces. This is the kind of puzzle you could solve very fast as there are only four pieces. Lord, don't you want to try? Lauren now gonna give up. She's heading back. This might be one of the biggest blowouts in Survivor history as they have none of their puzzle pieces while both other tribes are already solving. War Dog continues to try. He can't get it either. Wentworth in despair once again. War Dog pops the first puzzle piece for Lesu. David gonna give up and swim back to the pontoon. Somebody from that four is gonna have to go back. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Okay, I believe in you, you got this. If Lesu could pull this challenge out, it would be one of the greatest comebacks in the history of Survivor. Kama thinks they have it. And they do, Joe's right. Kama wins immunity once again. We're looking for one more. David trying something different. Get it? Lesu thinks they have it. If they're right, it would be their first win. And it is. Lesu wins immunity. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And so those are the top five greatest challenge comebacks in Survivor. Let me know what you think about this list. If there's anything I missed, any other honorable mentions. A big thank you to my patrons for once again coming back month after month, directly supporting me with your own tenacity and endurance. Be the Adam. And thank you out there for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget on your way out, your tribe is only as strong as your weakest link. And I will see you in the next one once I find a way to care about you hitting your head back there. I don't care. Oh. Chetty's here, Chetty's here. <laughs> Chet and Joel must catch Poverty and Eliza to win reward. Just misses the flag. Joel, Joel trying to drag Chet, takes a hard fall. Keep moving. Three, two, one. Joel and Chet cannot catch Poverty and Eliza. Ari wins reward. I don't care. I know. Fifth person voted out of Survivor fans versus favorites. Joel.
That's five, that's enough. You need to bring me your torch. Chetty's here, Chetty's here. 